Our first guest tonight is an actor of many talents, skills, vowels, consonants, you name it. His new movie, Guy Ritchie's The Covenant, opens in theaters tomorrow. Please say hello to Jake Gyllenhaal. <laughs> See Jimmy, it's lovely to see did you. you wear all, did you wear green tonight because of the holiday, or is that a coincidence? <laughs> it is. I actually am wearing an outfit. I got it from uh, Harry Connick Jr.'s uh, wardrobe from Memphis Belle. Remember that? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm doing my a... best Fred Astaire tonight. <laughs> it's you know? a deep pull, I right? really yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I... One of my favorite movies, though. So, you <laughs> is know, it really? One of my favorite movies, yeah. How about that? Yeah. You, uh, are you, like, do you have a good weed arc? Can you tell when somebody's uh, baked? No. No? You want to try? Would you like to play? Because uh, we got people. <laughs> That's not the uh, message I'm oh, trying oh, to send. Oh, no. oh, oh, yeah. No, um, no. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. all right, let's yeah. do it. Let's go back right. out on uh, uh, Hollywood Boulevard. And uh, that's Lou, our announcer. Lou's got three people out there. I don't know if you saw earlier, but one of these people is high. Um, I think he just told us who it is. <laughs> <laughs> No, but they try to be tricky with who they pick. So, yeah. um, so you know, if you want to ask any questions, or I could begin, however you want to do. We got Alex here first. Uh, Why don't you try, and I'll, okay. I'll take your lead. Hey, Alex, uh, where are you from? Hello, um, so I'm from Glasgow in Scotland. Oh, okay. Glasgow, <laughs> wow, how about that? You're from Glasgow, are you here on vacation right now? Yes, I'm here on a, I'm doing a wee US tour. So I started off in New York, and I've made my way across to LA. Where will you stop along the way? So I stopped in, I was in Washington DC for a bit, and oh. then I was in Virginia, and then I was in Texas, and now I've made it to here. Yeah. Are you putting on shows along the way? <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm just, you know, hopping about. Okay, yeah. all right, that's Alex, Ooh. that's contestant number one. Next up we have mm. Carrie. Hi, Carrie, how are Hi. you? I'm great, how are you? Good, now hold that microphone a little closer to your face. You got the Pink Floyd shirt on, so we're already mm. like kind of halfway there, right? <laughs> Yeah, maybe. Have you ever been one of those Pink Floyd laser shows? No, I have not. You're not? No, okay, no. all right. Oh, our What's your name, Carrie? Carrie Cooper. <laughs> okay, good. Okay, no, I'll just, you know. And now, have you met... I, wait a minute, have you met people on... who are so high they don't remember their name? No, 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 no. <laughs> it's just the amount of time it takes them. I between see. Between the question, that's the She thing was I'm quick, though. Yeah, you're yeah, right. Yeah, it's true, it's true. You're right. And finally, Liddell. Liddell, that's the right way to pronounce your no, name? No, uh, it's Lydell. Lydell. Sorry, Lydell. How are you? It's cool. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. How you doing today? I'm doing good. <laughs> now, Lydell has the word lie right in his name, so this might be... <laughs> might be harder than usual. Lydell, what do you do for work? All right, so I'm a lead A&R at B by E Recordings. That uh, stands for Bemused by Expression. And also, I'm a special ed support at uh, middle school, so I help out special ed kids just to make sure that oh, they're... Oh, wow. How about that? I had a feeling the way he holds the mic that yeah, he's Yeah, it was the mic thing. Yeah. It was like, check, 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 check. There's a, I, what, do you have a tattoo? Yeah, so I just got my mom's name touched up right here today. Oh. Yeah, hold on. It's not bleeding or anything. It's looking nah, pretty it's good. No, it's not bleeding. No, nah, nah, not at all, nah. What nah. doctor told you it would be a good idea to wrap that with plastic and tape it up? Oh, no, <laughs> the artist did that. So the artist that did it. Shout out to him that uh, Modus tattoo. Yeah, I was gonna. <laughs> Okay, now, I don't think it's Lydell, and I'm gonna tell you why. I, I don't think it's Lydell either. Here's why, because I don't think he would have admitted he works at a school if he's uh, out strolling true. around getting high. That's true. And then we got uh, Alex there, who, I don't know, seems to have come from another planet. He says he's from <laughs> Scotland, but I don't know about that. What do you do for work, Alex? So, I'm actually a journalist. You're a journalist? I am indeed, yeah, a very serious journalist. Okay. <laughs> Let's, let's look I at... just was watching his uh, the eyes. Yeah. The, the eyes are tell, I feel. Like. Either he has dry eyes, Alex, or... Let's get into Alex's eyes right now, here, if we can. <laughs> uh, 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 <laughs> Whoa, it's close. Uh, 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 okay, yeah, there are some capillaries. Okay. <laughs> now, let's see Carrie, too, because Carrie is uh, also a suspect. And Carrie, <laughs> you know, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. know. I think Carrie is trying to tell us something with that Pink Floyd shirt, you know? Can I recommend asking Carrie what she does for a living? Carrie, what do you do for a living? I am your friend to the end. I'm an undertaker. Oh! Wow! wow. 
So you probably, I mean, you, you probably need it, you know? <laughs> what happens when you're on vacation? Do people live? Uh, no. <laughs> no. We have many help. We have help. Okay. All right. Well, what do you this think, This is a Jay? Di very, very difficult one. And it's important. Yeah. It's very important. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, do you guys mind just um, showing me your best dance moves? Ooh. Oh, wow. Okay. That's a good idea. You know? Yeah. Okay, started. yeah, to count to three. Anything you want. Lou, give him okay. a little beatbox Ooh. or something. Yeah. I don't know. Okay. All right. Give us some music. Boom, cha. Okay. Boom, cha. Boom, cha. Boom, cha. Boom, cha. Everybody get down. Boom, cha. Boom, cha. Boom, cha. Boom, cha. Everybody shake it. Shake it. Boom, cha. That just made me feel high. <laughs> so I don't. <laughs> I'm, I, I really, I, Alex is really, he's, I, 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 it, I might be, uh, what are you feeling? I think it could be, I don't think it's Lydell. I, I think, think it so could, either. you know, I'm feeling Carrie, but, um, well, all right. Well, why don't we each choose our, our high person and we'll see how it goes. Okay. I say Carrie. I say Alex. Jake says Alex. I Who say is Alex. high? Please step Alex, forward. Alex, Alex, it's so Alex. Who, if you are high, oh. it is Alex. <laughs> you got me, you got me. <laughs> this stuff. Woo! Alex, yeah. how did it happen? What did you have? Did you smoke? Did you eat? What did you do? Um, so I went um, down an alleyway, just a bit down there with Linda. <laughs> That's the place to do it. Yeah. And we, um, we shared a spliff. It was great. We had a nice wee chat. It was brilliant. Yeah. Was it a stranger or someone you know? Oh, no. It was with Linda, who was on the show earlier. So I um, oh! I've never met her before. Yeah. <laughs> Linda. Linda's a bad influence on everybody. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, congratulations. Well done. Congratulations, well. Alex. Jay Jill and all, everybody. He knows his high people. We're going to take a break. More with Jake after this. We'll be right back. Who you block the tunnel? Which is, first of all, really a great movie, and I think also an important movie because even though it is not a particular true story, what what happens in this story is true and happened, and happen is happening really at this time, much too often. Explain exactly what the backbone of. The I mean, story it's an is. action movie. You yeah. know, it's a, it's a big action movie, but at the at the heart of it is about a relationship about a U.S. U.S. special ops sergeant and his interpreter in Afghanistan. And uh, it's sort of a, a, an arranged marriage of sorts because my character loses his translator at the beginning of the movie and then he's assigned this other guy and they don't like each other very much. And then, uh, you know, a number of things happen and they're sort of stranded together. And uh, Ahmed, who's his translator, saves his life. And then he uh, goes back to try and uh, save him. And really the idea is, you know, there are 300 uh, interpreters who have been killed in Afghanistan. Uh, and there are many, many more left waiting for visas. Uh, and so the idea is just sort of about, you know, we live by this ethos of no one left behind. And the movie really is about that. It's about a guy who decides to go back himself and help the guy who saved his life. And the covenant is the promise that we made to these people that we've broken in, in so many cases and also are moving so slowly with some of these people who we said, hey, you help us and then we will bring you over, we'll bring you to another country, and it's just not really happening, is it? Well, it's a very complex situation, but at the same time, yeah, I mean, the movie is a parable. It's a parable about, uh, it's not based on a true story, but it's based on many different true stories, different things, you know, different people all put together. And it's really the idea of us as Americans, us as, as, as humans, you know, inside of us, I think there, are, we have many heroes in this country. We are a country made of heroes and sometimes reluctant ones, but that's our fabric. And there are so many people who helped us there, and we helped them. And it's, you know, it's our ethos of no one left behind. Will you get a chance to screen this at the White House, where they could actually do something about what, what happened there? You, I don't know. Yeah. 
That would be nice. That would be great. Hopefully they'll they'll hear about it and want to see it. I would. That would be amazing. I would. You. I would uh, this love is not it. a typical Guy Ritchie movie, though. I mean, it's uh, a lot of it is. It, you can see some of that Guy Ritchie. You know, the way the, the fighting looks real and the action is very um, on a gritty in yeah. a way, but yeah. different. What was it like working with him on this movie? It's, I, you know, the movie's, you know, an action movie and it's serious and all that, but it's great. It's fun. I mean, he basically barbecues half the time. Like, he cooks for the cast and the crew? Yeah, like he has his own barbecue. Like he's designed his own barbecue. And uh -huh. it actually, it's for sale. Uh, uh, he, he told me a, it, it's a, a Living Kitchens, I think it's called. Out, oh, so he I makes, know, so he sells He literally barbecue. sells barbecues. Like and, Martha Stewart or something. No, no, he's like the Martha Stewart of, d of action directing? film directors. Yeah, yeah, no, it's. <laughs> He's, 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 uh, it was and he like he barbecue he just he puts it's always what does chick, he make What's chicken he... fish veggies if you're vegetarian if you're vegetarian uh, he'll make something I'm I, I'm I you know I eat all different things but yeah you know he he likes his steak but he no joke in between setups he's cooking you know you come you finish and there's a plate for you and and you know you really you know kind of made his, your way into his heart when you're allowed to barbecue on his barbecue oh he let you yeah yeah, oh. yeah 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 so it's like it's a it's a very like it's a fun set to be on. It's... It sounds like more fun than what you just went through because I know you just shot this movie. <laughs> this uh, like is a reboot, not a reboot, but a, like re a reimagining. Reimagining yeah. of um, Roadhouse. Uh, of Roadhouse, yeah. and you play. It, but this one, it, I think it's going to be a hit. <laughs> you play a UFC fighter, and I don't know if yeah. people saw this, but you you actually shot the final scene at a UFC event. Show that um, that tape here. That's not a Guy Ritchie barbecue body you have there. <laughs> yeah, no, that's How no... long did it did you have to stay in shape for that movie? Well, we were supposed to go to the the, the, the UFC fight before, right? The UFC is amazing, but you know, they, they've never let anybody do anything like that before. Cause you know Nobody ever shot anything live in front of their crowd before? No, not in that way. Uh -huh. I mean, it's not there's no fiction when you're fighting a UFC fight, you know, and to, right. to bring a let let you know a movie crew come in, you know, it was a serious business. So I was supposed to go and do it in November, and then I got COVID the day before, and I was in shape and ready to go. And then wait, then they're like, "Oh, well, the next one's in March," and I was like, "Oh." <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and then no I just no ravioli till March. <laughs> yeah, there was no, there was not a lot of that stuff. No, so yeah, so then then we did it in March. But then when we were, you know, we were there, we were just, I was just waiting because we were shooting in between the actual fights, so there's the pay-per-view fights and the undercards, and in between, we were told we'd have like a certain amount of time in between those fights, but we didn't know how much. We didn't know if the fight would, the fights would go on all the way or right. what happened. Yeah. And we ended up having like about 15, 20 minutes to shoot, and we actually choreographed the fight to, to fight in the, in, in the octagon. But I remember waiting and just like, they'd be like, we, we think you're gonna be ready to go on, and then we'd just do like 100 push-ups. And then they'd be like, oh, I'm not ready yet. Oh. Do you know what I mean? So it was just like a lot of push-ups over like. We have a picture of uh, you following those push-ups. And it's really like. <laughs> the other guy looks, the other guy looks sad that you're in better shape than he is. Uh, this reminds me of, did you watch wrestling in the old days? Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Okay, well this reminds me a little bit of Baron Von Raschke, the, uh, you know. The, he had the claw that he would do, and uh... I actually, I actually based a character, another character I played in a Spider-Man movie, based on on that hand movement on that the claw, he does. On, on yeah, Mysterio. Mysterio. Was a I play, he does, he does this, right? And it was based. No, it's not based. It's not. It's not based on that. But oh. it looks like it. I know, but that's a good. <laughs> hey, you know what? You're a good liar too. You hey, and yeah, you no, and uh, right. Linda. <laughs> <laughs> It was Alex, it's not Linda. <laughs> Linda was the first one. Are you one. high? <laughs> <laughs> Jake Gyllenhaal, everybody. Guy Ritchie's the covenant. Welcome to Theaters Friday. We'll be back with Lindy Cohen.